Hello YouTube, tiny house people and gardeners everywhere. Chris down here in the Ozarks just had to show you what we're doing with radishes today. It's time to, to bring them in, or at least some of them. We have uh, several different plantings of radishes. Some of them are succession planted a little later, so they're not quite ready. Now these could be a little bigger, but they're not bad size. I mean, you know, we're looking here at uh, just slightly under golf ball size. That's a really good size. They'll be nice and uh, tender. And the greens are really looking nice, so we'll be sauteing those uh, in some stir fries. But uh, over here, and I'm just uh, starting to pull these, so I don't have them all pulled yet. You can see these here. I also have these in a toad. They're not quite ready to go. And then over here, I have another succession planting that's also, uh, really, it's grown even faster than the ones I'm pulling right now. So we'll pull those too. And the other reason I want to pull them right now is because we still have time to put out a zucchini or two. So that's, that's what will be going into these spots is a single zucchini. The zucchinis get quite large. And so I think, uh, I think that'll work out pretty good. And then we'll still have these radishes in the tote uh, that will come later, uh, really probably when we'll need them. So that's working out real well. So this is where I have been pulling the radishes. You can kind of see that and if I come down here you can kind of see this is the next radish to pull so that's a pretty good looking radish and like I said you can kind of get a perspective on how big it is it's like a normal radish size so just pulling radishes and seeing what we come up with there's a few there's a few small ones in here but but uh, for the most part not bad at all not bad for the for the first pull of the season this little radish didn't do, do too well look at that he's kind of rotten so anyway out he goes so we'll just keep uh, keep pulling radishes that's really the only bad one I've seen I've seen a couple that are just kind of tiny here's here's a couple that won't amount to much but hey so anyway I'm just gonna pull, uh, keep pulling radishes here, and see what we see what we've got. Radish greens are really good sautéed. It's a really nice addition to, uh, really nice addition to the stir fry. And radishes are kind of a neat crop because they're so fast. You know, you can have radishes in 28 to 30 days. Uh, and that's uh, really, that's not hard to do at all. And then you can replant radishes in the same spot again. And radishes generally, unless you have a real bad blight problem, radishes aren't, aren't a problem with planting in the same place. Might want to remend the soil. Now we're not going to do that here uh, simply because we want some zucchini. So there you go. That's that entire thing pulled out. And uh, I won't bore you with the uh, pulling the other gar the other plot over here, but that's our radishes. So you can see that's a lot of radishes. I didn't really bunch them up very good, but I'll have to clean them off anyway. And then I'll what I always do is I always like to quickly separate the greens, throw away the greens, or compost the greens that are uh, not sautéable that you know that, that might be a little wilty or a little brown and then separate the other greens immediately from the root, uh, from the radish itself. And uh, then the radishes we eat, uh, raw on salads, and the greens we will saute. We have some really nice shallot greens that we harvested, and uh, we'll be looking at that in another video. Chris, back again, just one quick look, one last look at our radishes that we just harvested today. This was from an area of about, uh, the total area was probably between the two spots is about a foot and a half by three foot or about half of one of our little square foot three by three foot beds. So not a bad haul at all. So you can kind of see that uh, I've already washed the bottoms off. Now I leave the greens kind of dry because I'm gonna separate them here in just a moment from the radish itself, from the root. 
and I want to keep those fairly dry so they'll keep really really well for the next day or two until we saute them uh, but the radishes will go into a separate container so I wanted to wash those off and get the dirt off so uh, like I said if you keep your greens dry and cool then uh, high humidity but you want the green itself to be dry and uh, those will keep real well in the refrigerator uh, as you can kind of see there's a little bit of dry green that will take off and of course we'll take off the root down here but everything else on this is is very edible and will be wonderful now it's true that there was a little bit of bug pressure you can kind of see that there's a few holes in a few leaves here and there but for the most part this turned out really well and you can see about how big that radish is that's pretty typical of this pile of radishes uh, very good size it won't be hot it'll be nice and mild and crisp and uh, these radish greens are so wonderful in sautés but even at the farmers market a lot of times by the time you get to the radish and purchase it uh, even though they've picked it probably within the last 24 to 48 hours generally uh, it's still kind of wilty and not really as good there's nothing like these fresh radish greens in, in uh, your soups and sautés and uh, and of course fresh radishes on your salads and on sandwiches and wherever else you like to use them so anyway this is chris here in the ozarks till next time happy gardening